Good morning. Today I am going to be addressing a specific question I got that was, are in the waistband bolsters comfortable? So what I did was I took the video camera, because I actually have a video camera now, and I followed myself around just doing everyday normal stuff that I normally do, wearing an in the waistband holster. In fact, I still have it on. And for those who say you don't need retention to do normal daily stuff, they have never seen me change a crib sheet. Choosing a daily carry setup is kind of like choosing your shirt, if you have options. If you only have one gun, one holster, obviously you're limited to that. I have multiple guns, multiple holsters. I can choose from day to day what I want to carry. Today I chose, and the reason why I chose this setup is because it's a very heavy setup. This, um, this firearm, my Wilson Combat Professional, and uh, I've already gone ahead and unloaded it. This, uh, and there's no magazine, no magazine and no, um, no ammunition. This firearm, fully loaded, is somewhere around four pounds. This is a very heavy gun. Most people who get into concealed carry try to lighten their guns. And there's a reason for that, because if you're carrying it around all day, every day, the heavier it is, the harder of a toll it's going to take on you. So, and the reason I chose this one today was to show you that a he even a heavy gun, when carried properly, can be comfortable. And I have another gun here, and this is my Smith & Wesson 357J frame. This is the Scandium frame, and this is also empty cylinder. See, the cylinder is empty. This, even when fully loaded, is not even a pound. So, this compared to that is extremely, extremely light. And to show you the difference between the holsters that I chose, now this morning I'm actually wearing a belt. Sometimes I don't wear a belt around all day, but today I'm wearing a belt. And show you the holster that I wore today. This is <coughs> made by TT Gun Leather. Yeah, TT Gun Leather. And this one is a four and a quarter. It's kind of a Milt Sparks vs. Max 2 clone. It's a very comfortable, very, very comfortable holster. And I chose that and, and I wrote some points down about what makes an in the waistband holster comfortable versus what makes it <coughs> horrible to carry. <coughs> Excuse me. So one of the things to consider, as I've already kind of touched on, was the weight of the gun. The heavier the gun, not necessarily the more uncomfortable it's going to be, but the, the more you're going to have to look at your carry holster options. This holster here has two attachments to the belt, and it's obviously a belt holster. The heavier the gun, the more you're going to want to have a belt holster. Having just a, a clip-on holster or something like that will start to get heavy or start to get painful, and I'll explain why. If you have a heavy gun like this one and you're going to be carrying it. If you carry it in a single clip holster to your belt or, or to your waistband or even to your belt, what will end up happening is all this weight, especially when loaded, will just hang on one location and it starts to pull on your clothing. And before you know it, your pants are sagging, you've got You've got, you're putting pressure on this side of your body because all the weight's being pulled this way. You end up with this side hurting. You end up with either the barrel or the muzzle digging into your leg. You end up with it flopping around. Really heavy guns with only one point of contact to the belt or to your waistband end up getting really uncomfortable really, really fast. I know, I tried it. It was very uncomfortable. So the reason why you 
you want to start to go to a belt was because then you can get a belt holster. And what that can do is obviously a belt better holds the weight, and this is a pretty heavy duty uh, leather belt. And then what it does is you see how far these attachments are up, away from each other? And what that does is that distributes the weight of the firearm around your waist instead of just hanging off of one location on your waist. So instead of just hanging there, it more evenly distributes the weight, the firearm stays in place a little bit better, and it's much, much more comfortable. There are some that you'll see that, yeah, they have two belt loops, but they're right here on the side of the gun. That is almost as effective as just hanging it off the one point. The further away the contacts, the more support you're going to have, and the better, the more comfortable it's going to be in the long run if you're carrying a really heavy gun. Now, the lighter you go, you can actually start going into your clip holsters versus your belt holsters, and you can actually just do away with the belt altogether. As I said, this firearm here is not even a pound when, when even when loaded. I think the uh, unloaded, it's around 13 ounces. It's a very, very, very light firearm, scandium framed, but it is 357. I, it's a bear to shoot, but this holster for it is just an extremely light little leather holster, nothing real special, with a clip. And I wouldn't even have to wear a belt, even though I am wearing a belt, um, to carry that in the waistband, very light. So that goes a little bit into weight. The second thing I have here on how it attaches, which I covered a little bit with the with this holster. Does it attach via the belt? Does it attach via a clip like this one here? That will also help determine how comfortable it will be. Style and size of pants, and this is especially important for females who decide to carry. Male styles vary very, very slightly, but female styles, you've got, you know, hip huggers, you've got low, extreme low cut, mid cut, high cut. What I recommend for females is the medium cut. Don't do high cut, don't do extremely low cut. Also for size of pants, a lot of people say that they go up a size to accommodate the, the gun. I don't, I usually just buy the size that, that fits me. But if you do feel that you need to go up a size, only go one size because if you have pants that are too big, what ends up happening is even if you're wearing a belt, your firearm is flopping around inside of your pants and it just makes it even that much more uncomfortable. You've got uneven weight distribu distribution. Uh, material of holster is another thing to look at. Both of these holsters are level le leather. This one actually is a little bit more stiff of a leather than that is. But leather I find to be a little bit more comfortable for all day in the waistband carry. And Kydex can be comfortable. And they also have like leather and Kydex hybrids where there's leather closest to your body, Kydex on the outside. Those are very comfortable as well. Uh, one of the other things to think of is also position of the gun. Where are you going to carry it? Are you going to carry it behind the hip? I typically carry mine behind the hip because I find that to be most comfortable. Some people go small of the back. Also, a lot of people like to do what's called appendix carry. And that's carrying right around this area or this area, you know, depending on how you want to do it. If you want to do a cross draw or you want to do here. The last thing, and we kind of covered this before, was belt or no belt. Some people don't have the option of a belt. They're pants or belt loops, so you can't wear a belt. Well, if that's the case, then you, you definitely want to look for a clip-style holster. But now, if, you're, if your pants are baggy and kind of saggy, or you're wearing sweatpants or some kind, something like that, you're going to have a hard time finding a, finding a firearm and holster combination that doesn't end up pulling your pants down. But uh, with something like this that's extremely, extremely light gun and also a nice light holster with a clip style, um, that makes it a little bit easier if you don't have the option for a belt. Although you're still going to want some kind of a stiff waistband so it doesn't end up pulling too much or getting uncomfortable or flopping around a lot. So that's, a, that's your basic overview of it, are in the waistband holsters comfortable. They can be.